What is up everybody, Zach from Roto Chronicles. Today we're gonna be doing a uh, oil change on the 701 Enduro. It's at about 400 miles now. I know they will say wait till six, but next trip will be a bigger trip would take me over the six. So we're gonna do it now, get it over with, and uh, hope you guys enjoy, hope this helps you out. Um, to start out, you'll need uh, 1.7 liters or 1.8 quarts of uh, oil. I'm using the top speed 15, 30, 1550. Uh, two oil filters, uh, the 701 takes two, a big one and a shorter one and a longer one. Um, also the crush washer to replace on the drain plug. Uh, got some contact cleaner to clean the screens. Um, I'm not gonna do these on the first one and this is actually from the 501 anyway. You can just clean these screens. I'll probably wind up replacing them. I don't know, every third or fourth oil change or so, or if they start to look um, start to look a little dirty or can't clean them or they just got holes or something like that. But until then, I'll just keep running the same ones that are on the bike. Um, as far as tools, all you really need is a, a socket, a 13 mil and an eight mil, and that'll cover you for pretty much everything. So like I said, hope this video helps you guys out and uh, let's get this going. So first step we're gonna go with is to warm the bike up. Um, I already did that, rode it up and down the street a couple times, just makes the oil a little bit thinner so it can, it can drain out a little bit easier. It's not as thick. Um, but then once you do that, we're gonna be removing the skid plate. So you got an eight mil here. And then on the other side, you got an eight mil right here. So let's go ahead and get those removed. And then after you pull those two out, the skid plate should just pretty much slide straight forward. This is actually kind of a good example. Um, these, are, this is how it slides in in the back. There's in these little grommets right here. So if that pops out, you can just pop it back in. But you see these two guys, you got one on each side and they'll just slide into there and there. All right, and then I like just to crack the, uh, the oil fill hole. I leave the cap in there, but just crack it. Half a turn or so on there. It'll keep stuff from getting in, but it'll also let air in. So it will help the oil get out a little bit faster. And we'll go ahead and come around to the other side of the bike, grab that 13 mil. So the first bolt we're gonna remove is this guy right here. This is your oil drain bolt. And remember, if you let your bike warm up, this will be warm or hot, so just be careful. We're gonna replace that uh, brass crush, crush washer, so that could kind of go off to the side. Um, so 300 miles, there's there's a little bit of metal shavings on there. That's to be expected. It's nothing to alarm yourself with or anything like that. Um, as usual, I always do this. One thing I forgot to mention in the intro is I send my oil off to Blackstone Labs to uh, to get analyzed. Just gives you a good idea of what's going on in there. Of course, I, every time I have it set out and I always forget so we'll let this drain in there and grab as much as we can they're pretty good all you need is a little bit if you send them a low sample all they really won't be able to get is the flash point but so you can see there's a good bit of metal shavings on here like i was saying before i uh remembered to uh get the blackstone sample kit um it's to be expected on your break-in period that's why you're doing an oil change a lot sooner is to uh to get all those metal shavings and stuff out. So, to be expected. And the next thing we'll do is go ahead and remove this oil filter. Hopefully we can snag a little bit more oil out of here for the analysis. Or sorry, this isn't considered a filter. This is the, where those oil screens are. And so while that stuff drains out, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the uh, drain plug or the not the drain plug but that screen plug just get it all nice and clean like i was talking about those metal shavings um there is quite a bit of them so we're just going to get this super clean the other thing you want to do is just uh, inspect this o-ring make sure it's not cracked or torn or anything like that mine looks good 
All right, so the best way to clean these uh, these screens is with a little bit of contact cleaner. So. When you're doing this, you uh, you could spray everything, but you want to kind of spray the, uh, the O-rings and the gaskets the least amount you can. Just keeps those lasting a little bit longer. Clean off that screen plug with a little bit of contact cleaner too. And then lastly, clean off your drain plug. Same thing, contact cleaner. Get all those metal shavings off. One thing I do like to do is uh, lean the bike over a little bit, get any of that extra oil out. All right, and then the last drain bolt, which is another oil screen, will be this guy right here on the bottom, um, bottom right side of the bike. So we'll go ahead and pull this guy out. All right, we're gonna leave these two off for now. Next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is remove the uh, oil filter right here. So that's gonna be back to your eight millimeter socket. Trick to get these off is you can kind of turn it. So you can see how this rotated a little bit. And then once that's rotated, you can peel it off. Best way to get these filters out is grab some pliers and then just spread them apart and then you can pull it out. Once you get it started, pull out the rest of it with your hands. So once you get that side done, we'll come around to the other side of the bike. And we'll be pulling off this one right here. Same eight millimeters as the other side. Um, I will close this drain plug now because we might lose some oil out of there. I want oil to just drain it down into the case. And the same thing, trick to getting these off is just kind of turning it. And then you can see when it's turned, then you can get behind here with your finger and just pop it off. Go ahead and grab your pliers and same thing. Spread them apart and pull it out. All right, get this wiped out a little bit. Any excess dirt or anything in there. And then the short filters for this side, so that guy will just pop in there. This will come back down, snug up. Go ahead and get these uh, bolts back on there. And I just have these snugged up for now. I'm gonna bust out the torque wrench here once we're done putting everything back together. Snug them all up to the torque spec that it requires. Go over that when we do it. All right, let's move to the other side of the bike. All right, so the new filter, um, this one doesn't have a line coming out of it. This is the longer one. So this is just gonna go in like that, push onto there. Right, then we'll go ahead and we'll get this cap hook it put back on. Push it on there. Make sure it seats. Okay, so for the oil filter screws, we're gonna roll with uh, six newton meters per the manual. that side and we'll come around and hit the other side so same thing for these two we got six newton meters all right then the last two bolts we need to torque down are the screen the screen drain bolt 
and then the uh, actual drain plug bolt. So the screen is 15 Newton meters. Which according to that, I'm already there. And then admittedly, my little torque, my little baby torque wrench doesn't go up to 20. So if you're worried about it, this is a 20 Newton meter bolt. We're just gonna give it a little snug. So that's plenty tight. And uh, now it's time to fill it up with oil. All right, so 701 takes uh, 1.7 liters, 1.8 quarts, however you wanna measure it out. Um, I think the liters is a little bit easier just based on the way this is labeled. You can just take down seven of these and you'll be good to go. Um, key to these caps is pop them up. So you just pull them out like that, twist them off. And then the uh, seal. And we'll go ahead and dump this whole liter in there. All right, so while this calls for 1.7, I'm just going to do five or half a liter out of this. Um, and then we'll start the bike and run it. And All right, now that we got that 1.5 quart or liters in there, pull the funnel out, put this drain plug or just rather fill plug back in. Tighten that up and then we'll start the bike and let it run for, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute just to get that oil flowing. And then what the sight gauge I'm talking about will be this guy right here. Um, you can see if we even this out now, make it level. See how it looks full already? Well, that's because there's no oil in the filters and stuff. So we'll run the bike and I'll show you kind of why I do this after we run it for like 30 seconds. So that's about level after we've run the bikes. So you can see it's a lot lower than what it was. So if you're trying to add oil without running it for a little bit, and granted you do want a good bit of oil in there. So like I said, do the 1.5 liters. Um, that'll get you close, it'll get you enough. But now that, that oil's up in the filters and everything else and kind of cycle through the bike, now we can get a more accurate reading on that gauge. All right, and then it'll be the reverse to get this uh, skid plate on. So we'll go ahead and line up those two things into those rubber grommets. Slide it forward. And once you have your uh, holes right here lined up, you know, it'll be good to go. A little bit harder to get up there than a 450 or the 501. Um, you guys can kind of see now that we're on a level stand, we're uh, probably maybe a quarter to a third of the way full. So we're gonna go ahead and add more because like I said, we only put that 1.5 in. So we'll pop this cap off again here. All right, so on a level surface and everything else, you ran the bike already to uh, cycle some of the oil up into the filters and everywhere else. You're gonna wanna be right in the, right in the middle there All right, so as you can see, just damn near in the middle here. Um, that was exactly 1.7, so got most of the oil out of there and we're good to go. So that's the uh, oil change on the Husky 701, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helps you out. Happy trails, happy riding, happy adventures. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. All the support's appreciated. Uh, have a good one.